Welcome to this edition of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, what we're going to do is, if we don't bump the quadcopter, we're going to replace its motors with the Lions um, Knight. I think the Lions Knight uh, replacement motors because one of the things you'll notice that these have the the uh, metal gears where these have the brass gears. And all in all, these are supposed to be a better motor. So what I've done is I've removed the top because in the last episode, I've upgraded to the barometric hoverboard of the H-Series for the X8. And then now in this one, I'm going to upgrade the motors. Now, if you haven't done the board, uh, to remove the cover of the SEMA, what, what, what we do is there's three screws around here in each one of the motor housings. And then there's one screw in each one of these holes. So you undo... Um, these all these screws and the top pops off and you'll need to do that because one of the things that we'll need to do is uh, I've already well actually they've fallen off the the gears just kind of pull off this housing uh, so you notice you have a gear and a bushing and so we'll set those aside for the time being and then what we'll have to do is we're gonna have to undo the two screws here there's two Phillips head screws that connect this to the top of the gear assembly and I'm going to need to use a little bit larger uh, the, well they're small screws so they are on there with a little bit of torque so I'll have to um, use a little bit bigger screwdriver and so now I just I'll remove this and so you can see it's removed now I've left the screws in there you can kind of see what the bottom looks like and again, this is pretty much just a stanchion to hang, to hang that gear on as I drop the screw. You want to be careful you don't lose any of these screws. They're rather small. And then so uh, we're going to set this off to the side. Now the one thing is you have to be cognizant. So this, this is a red-black motor. So what I'm going to do is these just sort of plug in. So you have to kind of... I'm sorry I can't really show this. Well, maybe I can... I'm going to take a little bit of a regular screwdriver and see if I can't. This shouldn't take. This should be a non-soldering job if I can get this to pop out. Get everything else to pop out. Let me pull this through and see if I can work it out. It's being a little bit finicky. There we go. So we've gotten it to pop out. I've had to use this little screwdriver. So I want to set this aside and I want to make sure then, then what I do is I replace this with another uh, red-black motor because you're going to have red-blacks and then you're going to have blue-reds. So this is a red-black so I need to to replace this with, with a red-black. I'm not sure which way if it makes a difference it goes in other than to make sure that you can insert the clip in here the proper way with enough wires wiring to go around it and then what we'll do is we'll now go back and replace this gear stanchion and again the brass head just presses through and so we'll need to switch back to our larger screwdriver and tighten this down and you want to get this pretty snug because this is going to vibrate my magnetic head screwdriver pulled this out. So the, the uh, replacement of these are rather straightforward. So you don't need a ton of mechanical skill to actually do that. And there you go. So that's now replaced in. So here's the here's the motor I've removed. And here I want to make sure I don't get it mixed up. So uh, again they are a little bit different motors um, so hopefully they're about the same physical size if I get them in here um, obviously this one looks like it has some kind of white metal uh, where this one has brass this one has two openings this one has one larger opening the bottoms are pretty much the same although as when I reviewed the Night Lions motors I don't know, these are kind of grungy looking at the bottom um, but uh, where these are less, but we'll see how it performs. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, go through and change out the rest of these uh, motors. So I'm going to kind of speed things up. Okay. 
Okay, so we're back from the time lapse. We've got the um, all the motors installed, and so what I want to do is bind this and uh, make sure they all work. Yep, all of them are spinning, and so that looks good. You can hear it now because I've got the hoverboard in there. They're just they're idling and it shuts off as it should You know, I just noticed I actually grabbed the uh, X5 controller, so the X5 controller works with this board too. That's interesting. So uh, everything seems to work. So I'm going to go ahead and button all this back up, and uh, you know, everything seems to be working. So you know, I think uh, as you're aware, you just sl simply slide the gears back on. Um, I am going to power this off just on the safe side because I'm going to put this back together and then unplug the battery again. Safety first. Um, but just, you know, reassemble all the gears back on here. And then put the top back on, and then we'll be good to go. So, if you're wondering how you install Knight's Lions engines, this is how you do it. Real easy uh, fix. I'll let you guys know how it goes. It's a little bit cold here in Michigan, so that's one of the reasons I'm doing some of these mods now. Uh, so I'll let you know how it works. We get a warmer day. We'll do some test flights, and uh, we'll see how it works. So, hey, uh, if you found this interesting, hit like below. Subscribe. A lot more of this coming. If you got questions, hit me up. If there's something you'd like to see with the SEMA X8 or X5, hey, let me know. Or maybe even another quadcopter. Um, you know, pick one up and see how it is if there's enough interest. So, see you in the next video. Cheers.